We are about to kick off part three of this Glory Glory Men United series. In the last episode, we left. We were second very close to Liverpool in the league. We got knocked out from the Carabao Cup in the very early stages. We had yet to play the fifth round of the FA Cup and we got knocked out of the Champions League. Now, we will jump to the 26th of May. The league is done. The season is done. Have we managed to overtake Liverpool? Have we managed to redeem ourselves in Europe in the UEFA Cup? Roll the intro and we'll see. Glory, glory, man United. Glory, glory, man United. Glory, glory, man United. As the Reds go marching up, up, up. Hey guys, this is JRD and welcome back to my channel. But most importantly, welcome to part three of this mini series. Glory, glory, man United. Obviously, we're here at Old Trafford. We're here with Manchester United. And in this mini-series, we are trying to bring back the glory to Man United by winning both domestically and also in Europe. Now, in the last episode, we have left each other. We were second in the league in the Premiership, um, just a few points away from Liverpool. We have just been knocked out from the Caribbean Cup. Car Car Carabao Cup, not Caribbean Cup. Carabao Cup. And uh, we've been knocked out from the group stage of the Champions League, but we've qualified for, for the Europa Cup because we arrived third in the group. And um, we had to play the sixth round of the FA Cup. Now we're on the 26th of May and um, basically we are at the end of the season. So let's jump and see what has been said and done in this first year here at Old Trafford here with Manchester United. We will start off this episode on a bad note, guys, because we were knocked out of the FA Cup by West Brom. They went, we, actually, we lost 3-1 in the extra time. They went, um, they scored in the 90th minute. We've managed to get a, um, a very late goal by Anthony Marshall in the 96th minute, basically. At this point, uh, we were playing with uh, with 10 players because Eric Bailly, has been sent off in the 90th minute. Um, then they scored in the 92nd minute and also in the 118th minute. So, yeah, again, being knocked out from the Carabao and the FA Cup so early, not too good. In the Europa Cup, on the other hand, we started off the first knockout uh, round against PSV. I mean, it wasn't the, the worst team that we could get in the draw so we weren't very very lucky but we smashed them for one home i mean look at that 25 shots 15 of which on target 60 percent ball possession goals were scored from marshall from a pen green greenwood marshall actually with a brace and actually greenwood with a brace but have we done enough to qualify to the next round we did because we went back to Eindhoven and we won 3-1. Again, guys, I mean, they had more shots than us, 20 against 15. We had more shots on target. We've beaten them 3-1. Marshall, Vecino and Greenwood with the goal. So we've qualified for the following round of the Europa Cup in which we drew Olympic Marseille. So it's not it wasn't an easy draw, actually. And we started off by drawing them to to home i mean we were the far better team in this game 21 shots 11 of which on target um, they boss possession with 54 percent we went up front in the 62nd minute with Cristiano ronaldo then um, they drew in the 92nd minute we scored again in 94th minute and they got the draw in the 96th minute now they had the goal away advantage guys and this is not looking good However, we went to the Velodrome a few days later, a week, a week later, and we've beaten Olympique Marseille on their own turf, in their own park, in front of their own supporters, 2-1 goals from Cristiano Ronaldo and Greenwood in the 6th and 12th minute. They got one back in the 20th minute, but it was enough. We have qualified for the quarterfinals of the Europa Cup. And in the quarterfinals, we drew Lazio, another good team, guys. We drew Lazio, but look at this. 
We hosted them in the first leg at Old Trafford and we won, actually we didn't win, we smashed them 4-0, 27 shots, 13 of which on target, goes from Marshall, then an own goal from Radu, Cristiano Ronaldo with a brace, I, I mean 4-0, we had a foot and a half in the semis, but this is football manager man, so let's see what we did, how we did at the Olympico in Rome. So at the Olympico it was a different story and we lost 3-1, but we have managed to do enough just enough to qualify for the semi-finals of the Europa Cup. I mean, Lazio were the better team in this game. Pedro got a goal in the first minute, then Immobile scored a second one in the fourth minute, then Immobile scored a second one for himself and a third one for Lazio in the 44th minute. But in between, the brace um, scored by Immobile, Van de Beek um, scored, which turned out to be the winning goal now <clears throat> as you can see um through all the way through this europa league i've played um I, basically i beat teamed all the way i beat teamed it all the way to the semi-finals um but now let's see who we got in the semi-finals and in the semi-finals we drew the french giants basically second team in france after psg monaco and we went to to their to their to their stadium and we've beaten them 4-3 away an excellent game um i mean it was a balanced game they were slightly the better team but it was like a fantastic game seven goals our goal scored from greenwood tomine with a brace cristiano ronaldo golovin yeder and that man there scored in the 17th minute scored for monaco now this was a very balanced game we scored four goals away but have we done enough to qualify for the final of the Europa Cup in our first season at Manchester United? It was enough because at Old Trafford, we won 2-1. Again, I feel that they were slightly the better team. Again, I beat team that we played like basically 84 minutes plus injury time in 10 players because Anthony Marshall got sent off direct red card in the sixth minute. And then Lindelof and Luke Shaw scored both our goals. Um, that guy... Daisasi, yeah, something like that, scored in 53rd, but we won, and uh, yeah, we're in, we are in a European Cup final. It's not the Champions League, but hey, come on, still, you know? Now, before we actually go to our live con today and um, play the European Cup final, let's have a look at the league. Unfortunately, we've managed only to come second in the Premiership when we're a bit far off Liverpool who won the title i mean like we're nine points liverpool are nine points clear but i feel that if it, i mean this season was jammed pack with injuries guys i mean throughout the whole season i had a minimum of four or five players injured and i couldn't rotate as much as i wanted and you know the the games especially in the second part of the season come thick and fast especially when you're in europe and you know so it wasn't easy to rotate sometimes i rotated more than i should have done and um yeah so i think all in all guys it was a good result but before we actually go and have a look at what we did how we did in the league we drew real sebastian in the final of the europa cup guys they are currently seventh in the spanish league probably from if, if we had to judge psv um marseille lazio and monaco this is the easiest team on paper but somehow they've managed to make it all the way to the final they've beaten red bull leipzig in the semi-final so um yeah on paper we are favorites but again this is football manager so it nothing is really <laughs> nothing really makes sense in football manager but We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's have a look at some results in the league. So in the last episode, the live com was against Chelsea and basically it was our first loss in the Premiership. We lost at Stamford Bridge 2-1. And then after that, I mean, quite a few quite a few good wins. Like, let's start off, like, for example, um, we've beaten Southampton home 5-0, Arsenal 1-0. Um, I don't know. We've lost here is where we lost the league, guys. By the way, by the way, we've lost the league here. We were uh, let's uh, let's have a look at this. They went up in the second minute, and then Cristiano Ronaldo scored in the 26th minute. De Marco scored in the 28th minute, so we were two one up. 
Um, and at the time we were like seven or eight point nine points behind them, but we had a game in hand. And then they scored in the 70th minute and then a late one from Mazrawi in the 87th minute. Then we've beaten our neighbors, Man City 3-1 home. We've beaten Burnley 7-1. We've beaten Wolves 1-0. I mean, as far as my memory goes, we only lost uh, from like the big ones, like the top six. We only lost to Chelsea and to Liverpool. For the rest, we've beaten Man City twice. We've beaten Tottenham. We've beaten Arsenal twice. So, yeah, I think all overall, it wasn't a bad season. Like, as you know, we, we've changed a lot of players. We've changed tactics as well. So, and we had some troubles with the tactic and we had to slightly um, amend the tactic midway through the season. So I think all this season was building the base, like setting the standard. And from there, we only can improve. Hopefully we will improve next season because there will be a second season because the challenge is over two years, guys. The challenge is over two years. Um, some 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 facts about this about this season. Um, although we haven't won the season, uh, we, haven't, we haven't won the Premiership. We broke um, our own record. We, we won 29 games. The previous record was 28 games. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, if we have a look. Actually, let's have a look at the league stats. So as you can see, Cristiano Ronaldo topped the top goal scorer charts with 41 goals in 31 games, guys. 41 goals in 31 games. And that's a Manchester United record. No one scored so much goals, so many goals in one entire season. And Cristiano Ronaldo, 37 years of age, not only he broke the Manchester United record, but he managed to score 41 goals in 31 games in the league, which is not which is not normal. Not normal at all. I doubt if there was any player in real life that scored 41 goals. I don't know. I, I don't really follow English football. So if you might want to leave a comment or, or something, maybe there was someone who scored 41 goals, maybe George Best or, or I don't know. Uh, just let me know down in the comments. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo also won the the average rating charts with 8.15. A 37-year-old, guys. A 37-year-old player of the match, Cristiano Ronaldo, topping the charts as well with 14 player of the match. Um, when it comes to clean sheets, Dean Henderson is in third position, 17 clean sheets, which are not... Which are not... Um, which, is, which are not... Um, which are not a few. I mean, seventeen clean sheets. Clean sheets. It's not. It's not easy to achieve, especially in England, guys. And uh, as for the yellow cards, Tomine is in third place with twelve yellow cards. But let's have a look now, more in more detail about the these this this season's Premiership. This is another record, guys. Man United in their glorious history never scored. 104 goals in one season. 104 goals in 38 matches, guys. We left, I believe, last episode. It was we were 64 and Liverpool were like four or five goals above us. But then, like, look at that, man. 104 goals, 104 goals in 38 matches. We scored eight from corners and two from Poss. I don't know. Well, we scored 104, and that's a new club record. The average goal per game is 2.7 goals per game, which is amazing, guys. And it's way better than second place Liverpool, who won the league with 2.61. So basically, we scored an average of 2.7 goals every 90 minutes, which is amazing. And you might say, okay, you scored 104 goals, but how many of them were pens? Only seven. Because we had eight penalties this season, seven of which we scored, one we've missed, and we are only in third place in the table. Second place is Man City with 12 and Liverpool, 16 penalties, and they scored 13. So, yeah, that says a lot about Liverpool and winning the, the title. This is where we lost the title, guys. Look at this. Liverpool conceded only 16 goals in 38 matches, guys. 16 goals, not even a goal every other game. 
the average is less less than that less than that because if they conceded a goal in every other game they would have they would have conceded more than 16 because 16 times 2 is 32 you know so that's where we need to improve in defense we only come in fourth place second place man city with 23 goals conceded arsenal in third place with 35 goals conceded and man united 36 goals conceded guys so this is where we need to improve we need to keep our attacking um stats and maybe try to improve them if possible i don't think it's uh, there's well you know you can never know you can never tell but yeah this is where we need to improve mostly in our defense now i think we have um a good line of defense to be honest i mean the the the, the likes of varan the likes of rudiger the likes of lindelof the likes of uh, mangala rudiger umtiti you know i mean we we, we have good defense we have good defense. but i think where we lack the most are the keepers i mean henderson is great i mean he's only 25 years of age he's improving he played most of the games in the league the guy wants to leave um, he wants a new challenge that's why i started because i initially started playing the guy then the guy want came to me and said listen i need to i need a new challenge you know i've been here for a lifetime i need a new challenge and who am i to say no so i started obviously playing henderson when i considered him as the future but probably we would need to tweak some little things when it comes to the keeper but let's move on so these are the records i was talking about record high number of wins for man united the total of 29 matches won in a season is a new team record then we have another record which is uh, regarding goals 104 goals 104 league goals in a season is a new team record cristiano ronaldo claims english footballer of the year you can see 31 appearances 41 goals six assists average rating of 18.15 he also goes on to win the english players player of the year so he won them both and as you all know he also won the top goal scorer award with 41 goals sancho on the other hand claims the english players young player of the year he he appeared 33 times in the league he scored four goals he managed to get 10 assists with an average rating of 7.38 uh, remember he had a very rocky start here at man united because we yeah I, I i was playing with the wing backs and he cannot play that position there so he was not playing a lot but then when i tweaked the 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 tactic and he started playing on the right flank um, he started doing well and it actually took him all the way to win the english players young player of the year award our dean henderson placed third <laughs> in the in the golden glove winner which is i believe i mean he's got giants like ellison and ederson in front of him but again i mean um he, he's not doing bad but i think for this level we need something slightly better this is the team of the year, the English Premier Division team of the year. We have Cristiano Ronaldo and Greenwood um, making taking part in this team. Uh, so basically both attackers are ours. We also have Fernandes in the middle of the park. So we have three players in the English Premier team of the year. Now let's have a look at the team filtered by arranged by average rating so overall now this includes everything right the european cups the the domestic cups whatever cristiano ronaldo stopping this was our best player with 7.94 average rating followed by federico de marco with 7.19 i really wish to keep this player here at man united in the next season i doubt it though um but I i'll do my best i don't know if i can loan him back from inter milan or maybe i can buy him um we'll see rashford with 7.42 greenwood with 7.37 greenwood is developing to be a very good player um then marshall bruno fernandez so on and so forth but basically guys um all my first basically 16 i don't know how many players there are here but there is definitely 16 even more probably are all over the 7.0 average which is amazing amazing guys uh we lost the league um there were three games we lost to west ham then we lost to liverpool and we drew i can't remember against whom we drew and that's where we lost the league guys um but i think this is a very good base to build on for the next season um 
Yeah, if we have a look at the goals, Cristiano Ronaldo is topping, is our best goal scorer at 46 goals in what, 37, 43 appearances, 46 goals, so he scored more than he actually played. Uh, and then Martial with 22 goals, uh, Greenwood with 17, followed by Fernandez and Rashford, 11 goals each, and then Tomine, Sancho, so on and so forth. Now, unfortunately, you can see that there's a TRN icon next to Vecino. Um, he ran out of contract from Inter Milan. I offered him a contract, Lazio offered him a contract, and uh, he chose Lazio over us. I don't know why, but he chose Lazio over us. He's in real life, he's not real life at Lazio, Vecino um let me know down in the comments if you know why that's a, a small quiz for you guys so let's have a look at finances guys which um we started off i believe with 20, 260 something million okay um we finished the season we got 40 i believe 43 million for placing second which is which is amazing um Compared to Italy, you don't get 43 million if you, even if you win the Serie A in Italy. But anyway, we have still 107 million um, sitting pretty in the bank, 136 million as transfer budget. We are uh, spending 1.1 million less per week within the wage budget. So we are doing very well there. Um, this season, we have made a profit up till now of 124 million. We still have to play the European final and that obviously will bring more money and then will bring more sponsors so we are not doing bad like if you can see the income this month okay there were 43 million for being second place if it wasn't for that we would lose 30 million like this year because we've generated 63.8 million in income expenditure is 51 so if you remove the 43 we got for placing second that would be 23.8 against 51 and that's a very hefty loss now without further ado guys this is the moment of truth this is the season finale of season one of glory glory man united can we get just a little bit of glory back to old trafford by winning the euro cup okay guys so here we are the final of the euro cup they're playing a 4-1 4-1 4-1 but these are formation, Henderson, Rudiger, Varane, Maguire, DeMarco, Fernandez, Pogba, Tomine and Sancho, Greenwood and our very own Cristiano Ronaldo up front. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, <coughs> if he scores another goal, he will break another record, which is the most, the player who scored most in one season at Man United. Just one goal away he is just one goal away so at the moment he equ he's equal equaling the record um one goal and it will be it will be his the record will be his but um nine minutes passed not a good start they already had a free kick and a good save from henderson now they had a corner henderson showed safe hands there um obviously real sebastian are the underdogs here and we are the the the, the favorites um but at the moment they had five shots on target we only had two three of which they were on target well, actually they had five shots three of which on target we only had one shot on target and uh, out of the three highlights <laughs> it's three out of three for them up till now let's have a look come on come on guys come on okay we've got back possession now with maguire who starts building up from the defense line Maguire leaves it to Fernandez, who has been amazing this year, guys. Fernandez, amazing. We started off on a bad note by taking away from him the vice captaincy, but then I gave it back to him. Then we made friends. We're buddies now. We're buddies. We go out for. Uh... Oh, yes! Ronaldo! 47 goals. 47 goals from the 37 year old Cristiano Ronaldo. What a monster he is. He's not human, guys. Now, in my previous save, which I made, uh, uh, which, which was with Inter Milan, I, 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 it's on YouTube, but it's on, in my own language, in Maltese. Um, in the second season, um, I got Kylian Mbappe for free, and he scored 48 in his first season at Inter Milan. 48, but he's 23 years age, old. This guy's 30 fucking 7 years old, man. Oh, what a save there. Oh, my God. How did he miss to... How did he... <laughs> missed that man managed to miss that sancho 
it's only 30 meters of a minutes in the first half and he can't have it anymore so we put in Rafinha Rafinha is joining at the end of the season guys another cross Ronaldo with another header and this time he hits the post this time he hits the post that would have killed them in the first half two goals and now they can counter no they cannot because Varan there intercepts the pass another highlight it's a free kick Bernardo Silva probably will take the free kick uh, Fernandes not Silva and again that was very very close come on guys come on it's still a balanced match guys five shots on target for them four shots on target for us oh Rudiger nice interception nice tackle there Rudiger now we can counter it's three against three though uh, Rudiger gets tackled but De Marco gets the ball back immediately Pogba plays it on to Ronaldo who tries to find Greenwood their keeper clears it away and now Isaac with the header easy peasy for us and we start all over again come on man come on let's go and score a second here let's go and score a second Pogba who's on a yellow finds Ronaldo amazing pass there Ronaldo now needs to stop and give it back De Marco back to Ronaldo Ronaldo leaves it to Fernandez Pogba Pogba to Greenwood back to Ronaldo and there's number 48 referee permitting that's number 48. I think he's going to disallow it, though. I think he's going to disallow it. No! Goal awarded. 43 minutes. We're leading 2-0 in this European Cup final. Woo! Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to say. Um... Yeah, you might be winning stay alert stay concentrated i will uh, praise them just to keep their morale high and off we go we need to make some changes very soon rafinha is on a 6.6 .6, but it doesn't really matter um the marco is yeah i mean what a player is this guy man i'm gonna put in Shaw because i'm not gonna renew his close contract guys by the way well the loan by the way i had a row with him and he's not playing anymore I forgot to tell you that he wasn't training well uh, he was always on the um, on the training cards he was always like the, the worst player um who has trained during the week i oh number three hat trick from cristiano ronaldo man this is i think the third consecutive hat trick from him he scored four against barnley he scored three against wolves did they score three against us? I don't know. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, I, I spoke to Esco one, once, twice, three times. Then he started snapping. I said, fuck off, man. He's going to stay on the bench. And he stayed on the bench. And now he's going back to Real Madrid or whatever. I don't know. That's a pen. No, it's offside. No, it's a pen. Okay, they have a chance to get back into the game, guys. It's only 67 minutes played. So there's plenty of time. If they score this, it's going to be 3-1. And um, yeah, they will be back in the game with a bang, man. Oyard Zabal. Ooh, he almost got it there. He almost got it, Henderson, but he didn't. And uh, Real Sebastian are back in the game. I'm not changing Ronaldo and I'm not... Fernandez got injured um this would be vecino's last match last game with us unfortunately vecino is the ideal player man he never complains when he plays he plays well he scores he does the assist i mean he never complains if he stays like on the bench for like five six games consecutively he's amazing man i love the guy but let, look at this there's five minutes between us and european europa cup not the european cup and we've won it man we've won it we've won it we've won it well done reds the red devils back to lifting a european trophy last time they did that was under the helm of jose mourinho jose mourinho but here we are in our first season jerry d and his red devils lift the europa cup guys come on come on so now this will entitle us to play the European final. The European final. 
um, next season, which probably, I don't know if it's going to be the live com or not, because usually uh, they play it in summer when like the transfer market is still on. But anyway, what matters is that we are European champions, the minor cup, but still European champions. Anyway, this is the end of season one, guys. This is the end of episode three. Glory, glory, Man United. Hope you liked it. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to your new. <coughs> My name is Jerry D. Until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.